Good morning, good morning, good morning. I am blessed to be alive this morning, clothed and in my right mind with life, health, and strength. Amen. I just wanted to come on this morning as I am driving to work and and just say that uh, God is good. And if you don't know that God is good, I am here to tell you this morning that he is worthy to be praised. Yes, 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 he is. Amen. Um, I just wanted to come on this morning real quick. Um, Y'all have to excuse me because I'm driving to work and I'm driving the stick and all that. But I just wanted to come on and say that um, I have been dealing with a lot of people around me um, being sick. Um, a lot of death um, in my family, sickness in my family, um, friends, co-workers, just a lot of a lot of stuff has been going on, um, which I'm sure some of you have probably been dealing with the same thing in your life as well. And I just want to say that we really, really, really um, have to live our life like today is the last day. Because nobody knows the day, the time, or the hour uh, when our Savior is going to come back for us. So you really, really, really got to live your best life. I mean, we don't have time to be playing around. Meaning, if you knew that you had six months to live, you would do everything that you thought you wanted to do. You do everything that your heart has always wanted to do. So I, I come on here to encourage you to say, just because you don't have an expiration date, you need to live your best life. You need to get out there and do everything that your heart desires. Get that job. Buy that car. Get out there and strive to get that house together. Get your credit score up. Get that bank account up. Spend more time with your family. Love on your spouse. Love on your kids. Kill them relationships that don't mean you no good. And mend those relationships that do. Those that mean something. Because it really is not worth your time and your energy to be running around hating on people, being angry with people. Forgiveness is for you. Forgive people. I'll ask people to forgive you and move on so that you can prosper in life and be better than who you were yesterday. It's not a competition with nobody else. It's all about you, who you are and what you want to become. And I've created a YouTube channel called Purpose with Rita. And I just ask that you will go on there and um, help me get my channel up. I just want to come on and encourage people daily to live your best life. I just want to encourage you to follow your dreams, follow your goals, get out there and do that thing that God has purposed on your heart. That thing that you've probably been wanting to do since you was a kid, whatever it is. My, my dream has always been to motivate, to encourage, to inspire people to get out there and follow their dreams. I don't want to climb the corporate ladder, but I want to build the ladder to help you climb that ladder so that you can get to where you want to go. So now that I recently became a certified life coach, I just want to coach people. I just want to help you. I just want to love on you. I just want to be your accountability partner. I just want to be there for you to help you to do whatever it is you want to do, whatever you've been procrastinating to do, whatever you've been fearful of doing. I've been fearful. Look how long it took me to finally do this. And I thought about it this morning. I said, you know what? I'm going to get in this car and I'm going to turn this video on. I'm going to videotape on my way to work. And I'm going to go ahead on and set it up because I've been afraid as well. And I thought to myself, like, girl, I'm about to encourage myself. You better quit playing. So I'm encouraging myself as I'm encouraging you. But I just say, right now, I just want to talk about people with so much anger and bitterness and animosity, you know, within their souls. You know, people are losing their lives and people don't want to come together as a family because they don't like that person and that person don't like me. And I'm like, dude, that is such a waste of energy. Who cares? We talking about family. Men them, men, men them relationships. Let that old negativity mess go. You can't go nowhere with that negativity stuff. Let that stuff go. Anybody got time for negative people, negative energy, and you got to be the change that you want to see. So if you want to talk about people that's this and that's that, how about you change? Because you really can't change other people. And it's not really how other people act or what they say and do. It's really how you react to it. So be, kind of, be accountable for your actions. Be accountable for how you react to what people say and do because you don't have to deal with that. You don't have to even be a part of that. Remember, it takes two people to argue. It takes two people to be angry with people and two people to be uh, caught up in some mess. Ain't nobody, nobody got time to be caught up in no mess like that. Let's, let's move on from that. Let's move on. What am I doing here? Uh, okay. Y'all know I'm driving. I need to get
give me a, a stand if I think I'm gonna be talking on my way to work, right? Ah. Okay, this is my first video though, so anyway, again, Purpose with Rita, my YouTube channel. I'm gonna come on once a day and try to give you some encouraging words, but every week I'm gonna come on and give you the word of the week, and I'm gonna break a word down to you so that you can implement that word in your life. So whatever that word, whatever you thought that word was in your life, I'm gonna give you a different perspective of that word. Like for example, I may do a vision, and I'm gonna break it down to you and give you what I see vision as and how you can implement that word vision into your life. Procrastination. Procrastination may have been one thing to you. I'm going to help you change that thing around. Fear. We're going to look at fear from a whole different angle. We ain't finna allow fear to stagnate our life and allow us not to move forward in the things that we know that we are purposed to do. The God-given gifts and talents that God has um, put on our heart. Everybody got a gift just got to tap into that gift and use it for the benefit of the glory of God that we can give back to his people. What's your gift? My gift is the gift of encouragement. I've always been an encourager. I just want to motivate, inspire, and lift up, build up. That's all I like to do. Really, I just like to talk. I'm sure y'all can tell I am a talker. I'm a communications major, life speaker, public, I'm a life coach, public speaker, and teacher. I just want to talk. I don't care what we're talking about. Let's just have a conversation. I'd rather talk about God all day. But I know a lot of y'all don't want to hear about God. But if you're talking to me, you're going to hear about him. But anyway, I'm going to make my way on the work. But I just wanted to come on here and just say um, love on people. Even if they're hard to love on. Despite of what you're dealing with and despite of what they're dealing with. Love on people because ain't none of us perfect we all got issues be compassionate don't be so judgmental you know don't be so judgmental everybody want to look down on people and they faults and all that kind of stuff and you won't you, some people call themselves men and women of god and but then you study you study asking god to forgive you but then you can't even forgive the person that looked at you crazy wasn't even nothing that serious and you can't even forgive them you gotta we, we gotta get out of that mindset we gotta get out of that mindset we gotta get out of that mindset and we really need to start loving on each other building people up and coming together you know i'm not even gonna go into the conversation of, of us as a people coming together my god that'll be a conversation for on my way to work and we'll still be picking that up on my way home so with that being said, I'm starting my channel. Go on there. It ain't going to be but this one video right now. <laughs> but I need you to work with me. Work with me. Help me out. Um, like, subscribe, share, tell somebody. Go to my website, readareed.org. I have some daily devotions on there. I am a notary, life coach, spiritual advisor financial planner loan signing agent anything you need go on to my website readareed.org I have a blog on there I have um, you can send me an email you can just go read my daily devotions and just kind of get inspired get filled with the word of God um, I am a licensed minister I can marry you bury you. Oh, that didn't sound good. Um, yeah, I know. i just been doing funerals so, so much. It's just like, oh, Jesus. But anyway, I just want to be an accountability partner for somebody who just needs someone to hold them accountable, to follow through with their dreams, to follow through with their passion. And if you want to invest in yourself and you want to be coached about different things in your life, whether it's career, relationships, spiritual, invest in yourself. Come come on. Hit me up. I don't charge a whole lot. I give you a deal. Let's sit down and talk about what, what it is that you need. We, we can talk about it. But uh, with that being said, all right, I'm going to let you guys go this morning. God bless you. I love you with the love of the Lord. And um, word of the day is love. Love on people. Love on people. Especially the ones that are hard to love. Because really, it is a camouflage of hurt. 
which is why they have the wall up. Been there, done that. Been there, done that. I'm going to tell you my story. Been there, done that. Anytime people try to be too hard, it's because they're covering up the hurt and the pain. <coughs> Excuse me. And they don't want to be hurt no more. They don't want to be hurt no more. And so that's why they put that up. So I say to you, if you have someone like that in your life or you know someone like that, love on them even harder. It may push you off, but believe me, they need it. They need it that you can break through that wall. Love covers a multitude of sin. Love covers <coughs> hurt. Love covers hurt. So get out there and love on people. Do the will of God. Love on people. Love you with the love of the Lord. Until next time, again, go to my page, Purpose with Rita. Living a life of purpose on purpose. Ooh, that sounds so good. All right. Love you guys. Have a blessed day.